Hey, how are you? Okay, so I have never done this before. <laughs> um, I just, I'm sitting on the front porch, rocking chair, beautiful, sunny day, birds are chirping. I thought, why not get on here and just talk? You know, I haven't been on YouTube in a little over a week, ever since I did the home tour. Just kind of been, not depressed, but just kind of in a funk. Didn't really feel like filming, doing, <laughs> kind of doing that kind of stuff. Just been, you know, hanging out with the kids, riding bikes, walking. Um, like when I do my DIY videos, of course y'all know I'm a talker. You know, I kind of chit chat, talk. And a lot of times I feel like I have to go and edit and cut out stuff because I, I talk too much. So I thought this would just kind of be a good time just to sit out here on the porch and just say, hey, you know, how are you doing? You know, what are you doing? <laughs> um, you know, every day just kind of, it's basically the same day after day. You know, you just kind of mix it up, you know, bike ride or get into a project. You know, it's like, and I now want to redo the upstairs bathroom. I want to put some board and batten down the hallway. I want to do the board and batten going up the stairs. <laughs> I want my husband to build me a coffee table because I'm tired of our big, huge ottoman, which I used to love when I first got it and now I don't really like it anymore. But... I don't know, it's like, you know, the more you're kind of sitting in the house, it's like, yeah, I want to change this. You know, that's kind of getting old. You know, it's been the same for so many years. But, you know, I'm just curious, you know, have you all started any home, you know, remodeling or little things, you know, crafting? Um, kind of speaking of crafting, um, my next few videos, you know, kind of thinking more ahead into what makes me happy, which is color. Um, I love the pop of yellow, so I will go back to my lemons. Um, this year I want to incorporate some more of my bees. I want to do strawberries. Uh, definitely, you know, next month is May. You know, Memorial Day, definitely patriotic right now. Right now, especially, you know, just just be very patriotic. My American flag is in front of me just flapping in the wind. So, you know, I'll kind of do, you know, some crafts like that. Some decorating with it. Um, but yeah, just, you know, I kind of miss talking. And, <laughs> and honestly, I haven't felt like doing hair and makeup. So it's like right now I have absolutely no makeup on, sunglasses, you know, of course the sun is right here. But, you know, I just, I don't know, I want to talk, you know, I just want to like check up on you, see how you're doing. Um, you know, <laughs> don't get emotional. Little, you know, trying to do fun little things to kind of help you know build some memories right now so of course we're doing you know board games and puzzles and legos and like i said just getting outside and playing football in the yard um we have a volleyball net doing volleyball we did though the other night it was so exciting <laughs> we it was about we waited around 9 9 30 at night you know that way it's dark we went and chalked all of our families well, not everybody, but, you know, chalked some of our family's driveway. It was so exciting. Riley kept saying, Mom, when are we going to go vandalize their, vandalize their driveways? I'm like, buddy, we're not vandalizing. <laughs> I said, we're just going to, we're going to chalk it. So it was like, we snuck, and like my husband, he was driving, and us three, you know, me, Presley, and Riley, we all had our own little box of chalk. <laughs> and he would like drive up really slow, like before you got to their houses, and he turned off the lights, and we like got out and like barely closed the car doors. And like we ran through the sad yards, and we chalked, you know, everybody's yard. Like I wrote, we miss you, and then I wrote, you know, love, you know, all of our names, I drew some hearts. Presley, for each family member, like she wrote something special rally drew stuff and it was just so exciting <laughs> you know because when you get older you know you don't really get that excited over everything anymore but it was like a secret mission you know in the next morning because what we did my husband has three brothers and you know they're all married with kids and they all we all live within like 15 minutes of each other and his mom and dad so it's like we hit all four of their driveways and no one had a clue and the next morning like everybody's like sending his pictures how just they loved it and they were the kids were so excited and it was just something <laughs> so simple but just so fun that just made us happy made us you know it was exciting goofy presley we all had <laughs> we all had on black sweatshirts you know presley had on a navy blue bandana from the dollar tree 
and she kept putting her hood up and Riley put on a camo hat. It was just, <laughs> just something just so silly and goofy, but it was so much fun. You know, and I asked her if she would be interested in doing some of her friend's driveways, and she was like, oh my gosh, yes. So I think one night this week, we're gonna go and do some of their friends. So the only thing is a couple of them have like gravel driveways, you know, but we'll figure out something for them. But it was just so much fun, so exciting. And then one day we were all inside and my sister-in-law, she sent a text. She's like, look out your window. It's like, what? So her, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, and their four kids are all in the driveway in their car. So we all went running out there. We, you know, they stayed in the car. We were like in the driveway talking to them and they had brought us Krispy Kreme donuts. It was just <laughs> something just so sweet. You know, they were just out. She, um, she's a realtor, so she had to drop off some papers somewhere kind of close to here, and they just popped in. And we stood in the driveway for probably about 10 minutes, you know, just talking, but, you know, it was a different conversation. We were laughing, and the kids were all happy to see each other. You know, like I said, we just, we stood, you know, stood back, and they had the windows down just talking. But it was just so, so nice, you know. We're all still kind of, you know, the social distancing, you know, miss our family, but it's just, it's nice to kind of like pop here and there. I did finally, I had to go to Kroger's. Like I have not left this house since, I guess when it first kind of like started, like the middle of March. My husband goes to work every day, so he was going to the grocery. So he just, you know, but he's working like 55, 60 hours a week plus cutting grass, plus he was running to the grocery or running to Walmart for me. And I still felt bad, you know, it was a Friday, you know, actually it was last Friday. I'm like, you know, I can do this. <laughs> but my problem is my anxiety, you know, especially with my brain injury, my anxiety, like when I don't have control, like when I don't know exactly what I'm walking into, what's the situation, like I had myself worked up because I'm like, you know, do you wear a mask? Do you wear gloves? Do you do this? Do you do that? What's it like when you go in? Is, it, is there arrows and, you know, so <laughs> goofy. Once I calmed myself down, I made it to Kroger's. I was in there for, I had to get groceries. I mean, so I was in there for a little bit, but you know, everybody, you know, they had arrows. It told you which direction to go, you know, and everybody was, you know, being very respectful. I mean, you had some people that just didn't care. <laughs> But I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I get myself so worked up with, you know, the whole not knowing. But yeah, so goofy. But yes, um, I don't know. It's so nice to talk to you. <laughs> it really is. Oh, it's so nice just to, to talk and I don't know. I mean, you know, you kind of miss laughing and joking and talking constantly. I don't miss doing hair and makeup though. <laughs> I'm just not a big makeup person. And I feel like when I do a video, like I gotta do ash shadow and put some color on these daggone eyebrows and oh my gray, if you all, I'm sure right now you can see it, this gray hair, Riley's hair is crazy. Cause you know, the guys can't get a haircut. <laughs> and I even, I offered to cut Riley and Keith, my husband's name is Keith, I offered to cut their hair. And, <laughs> they were both like, no. <laughs> so they've been doing a lot of hats. And Riley has like, mine, like Riley has like bone straight hair. So his hair is just long and all this that was really buzzed is just, he's very shaggy. Where my husband's hair has more of like, it grows out. Like he gets like bushy full hair and it's so thick. Oh my gosh. I mean, this man will never go bald because his hair is so thick. And he's got a big beard. So, yeah, I mean, a little Sasquatch looking. <laughs> but yes, so, like I said, I am going to do some, some videos. Um, like, I want to do my lemons, like I said, bees, strawberries. Um, last year I did some watermelon stuff. I, and I know, you know, it may be kind of soon for people to think summer, but... I'm the type of person, and maybe it's, you know, because of a little depression, sunshine. I need colors. I need that sun. I need that warmth. Um, that's why I've been sitting on the front porch a lot. Just fresh air. Woo, gotta have it. 
Um, it's supposed to rain, I think, the next few days, or I'm like soaking up today. Um, but yeah, so I guess I got some videos coming. We also, we have a cherry bedroom suit, and I'm so over it, you know? I used to love it. I thought like cherry was like elegant. <laughs> But I want to chalk paint it. Like we have a sleigh bed and I'm deciding like, let me know. I'm thinking either chalk painting it white and distressing it, or I have this really light gray color and distressing it. So I'm kind of torn between the white and the gray. And yes, I've looked on Pinterest and I kind of love both ideas. And I was leaning more towards the gray, but when I called the little local store that I get that paint from, it's like, it's not chalk paint, it's called a, a mineral. The brand is called Fusion and it's like a mineral paint. Same thing as chalk, but actually I like it better because you don't have to, like you have to seal it. Like I've never like actually sealed all the stuff that I've painted. And I mean, cause I know sometimes if chalk paint, if you put white, it can turn yellow. I've never had that issue. But the store is out of that gray color. So now I'm like, hmm, is that a sign to paint it white or do I just be patient? I don't know, but yes, so I'll, <laughs> I could just keep talking, you know, just keep on talking. I need to go vacuum, I need to dust. The downstairs bathroom needs to be cleaned, but uh, I can do that tomorrow when it's raining, you know? <laughs> I mean, nobody is gonna drop in on us, you know? So, if the house gets a little dusty and some, you know, grass here and there, you know, from going in and out. Oh well, I'll do it tomorrow when it's raining. I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful day, you know. So, yes. Okay, so I'll, I'll quit talking because I know I can just go on and on and on. But I just want to say thank you just to all of you, you know. I've always, like, I've, okay, I'm going to keep talking for a minute. I discovered YouTube last year in March. And only because I went to the Dollar Tree and I was like amazed at all the Easter stuff last March. I mean, I went crazy. I mean, I spent like $80. And that's when I discovered on YouTube all these Dollar Tree haulers and all these Dollar Tree crafts that people were doing that I've already been doing. Like, I didn't even realize there was a community out there. So my daughter encouraged me, you know, mom, just do it. And she's the one that got me into Reese and, you know, we need that cheerleader. Like she's kind of my cheerleader, but you know, yeah, I just, I don't know. It kind of gives me like, you know, of course my job is mom, but it also gives me like, like I'm doing something and I've met you all. And I just, I truly appreciate you and your comments and, and when, when I watch other YouTubers, and they're always like, you know, I love you, I love you. I'm like, that's kind of weird. You don't know me. <laughs> Goofy. But at the same time, like, you're so amazing. Like, your comments are so uplifting and just so heartfelt that I do. I mean, I understand now why people say that they love us, you know, because I do love y'all. You know, I get it now. And I also see how hard it is to do videos. <laughs> I mean, the editing and the camera angles, and I still try to figure all that out. <laughs> Anytime, like, there's something like adding music or adding something, I'm like, Presley, which is my 15-year-old, Presley, help me. <laughs> so a lot of my stuff Presley is doing behind the scenes. <laughs> She's not big on getting in front of the camera, but she does, like, all my behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> um, but Riley wants to do a video, so I told him next week that there's a couple of things that he wants to make and show you like he does protein shakes so he wants to show you like his favorite recipe and then like there's, there's little pizzas that he loves to make so I told him he could do a breakfast and a lunch video one day next week because I can't find the little pepperonis like Kroger's everywhere is out of the little pepperonis that we need so I told him maybe if I get brave I'll, I'll try another store <laughs> But yes, so there's going to be a lot more videos coming from us. But um, like I said, I hope that you are staying healthy and safe and active and, you know, just, we'll get through this together. You know, our governor, Andy Bashir, I don't know if you've heard about him. Yeah, I know he's been a lot of news. It's like his saying is, we will get through this. We will get through this together. <laughs> but it's true, you know, we just, everybody just do what we're supposed to do. You know, we'll, 
have hopefully have an amazing, fun, go swimming, go do this, go do that, family cookouts, you know, can't wait to, you know, to hug everybody and have a, you know, cookout and play volleyball and have a big bonfire. I'm ready for that kind of stuff. So, okay. So I hope you all have a great day. I love y'all. I miss you. <laughs> but I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.